Hello and bienvenue à Paris and to our Under the Leg Patterns tutorial. Like a spigot. My guess is yes, you can. Like, can I kick it? Wicked. Lick a shot if you happy and you know it as you clap your hands to the thick snot of a poet flowing. Broken pen and I'm in. Cole Hyman. So, I'm not here today to reinvent the wheel. Mr. Woolsey already has a great tutorial online which eloquently teaches the basic principles of under the leg. So, he's talking about cross points and how that can apply to your arms and also to your legs. And also, he's talking about switching lanes. So, if I'm starting on one lane, I'm going to go to the other lane. Well, that's just happening under the legs. So that's all in his tutorial. Another way to think about that is you want to provide an exit for the poi. So after you go under your legs, the poi needs an exit, lest you get bludgeoned in desirable area. Uh, right, so half turn, that's one way to make an exit. Or you can keep your perspective forward or to the side and provide that exit for the core. Okay, so that's the prerequisite is that you understand those basic principles and you may want to experiment a bit with one core just to acquire the instinct of when and how to move. And once you've got an understanding of that, you are free to play and experiment with some really fun and interesting patterns. So that's why I'm here today, is to share some of these patterns with you. So there are so many under the leg patterns. Today, I'm going to teach two. Number one, the smooth walk. And the Bruce Lee. Okay, let's get started with the smooth walk. So for this, we're going to break it down to one poi at a time. You're going to start with your right foot forward and spinning underhand butterfly. And as the poi goes under, you're going to move your right leg around so that it exits out to the other side. So practice that a bit. Out the other side. And the next step is taking the steps so that the poi are always moving behind. Okay, and once you've got that with the right, you're going to do the same thing with your left. And after, we're going to put them together. So, same thing as the poi comes up. <laughs> the poi comes up. You're going to move your left leg to the back and provide an exit. So just practice that in place with both right and left poi until you've got it. And when you're ready, just step with it. And then you put them together. Alright, so now putting the two together from the underhand butterfly, we're going to start in this position with our right leg in front, left poi in back, right poi in front, and starting on the right, we have one round like that. And eventually we're gonna keep walking back on that straight line. You can just try one round at first, right, left, and back to that starting position. So notice how the poi are on the same timing, so they're passing under my legs at the same time. Silly walk. It doesn't have to be so silly if you don't want it to be, but it can be. So that's the silly walk. And the silly walk. One final note about the uh, smooth walk. So once you've got it walking, you can also do it in place with a box step. So I'm taking four steps. Okay, Bruce Lee. 
so this is the same direction, backwards split timing, and the full pattern is a symmetrical one, which goes to the right and to the left. So let's break that down. So you should be able to uh, lift the core in your right hand, make a half turn to the right by stepping along that straight line. And you should be able to, next step, follow that right koi with the left. So in this example, I'm squaring my shoulders off and taking a step along the line. The next step is not to actually make a half turn, but to kind of fake that half turn so that I remain facing the same direction backwards down virtual alleyway. That's half of it there. So what else is happening? Well, I'm taking four small steps with my feet. Right, left, right, left. So right koi leads, left koi follows, and the feet, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Right, left. So I'm just providing a very small space there for the koi to exit. And I'm stepping back in preparation to do the same thing on the left side. So once you've got that on the right side, right, left, right, left. You could just do this forever. It's kind of its own fucking Bronco thing when you do it that way. Okay, so once you've got the right side, and the next step is to get the same thing happening on the left side. So the same thing, but opposite. So left koi leads, right koi follows. And the steps are left, right, Left, right. Left, right, left, right. All right, then you're ready to put them together. So you have on the right, on the left. And notice there's an extra beat there with the koi because you're leading going to the right with the right koi and leading going to the left with the left koi. So we need an extra beat. Or else we're going to lead, lead with the wrong foot. So there's that extra beat. On the right. On the left. On the right. On the left. Do you see that extra beat? Et voilà, Bruce Lee. Yes, you can, like, can I kick it wicked? Lick a shot if you happy and you know it as you clap your hands to the thick snot of a poet flowing. Grow pen and I'm in. Cold hymen, dope or rhyming, more worth it than.